To prepare for this webinar, please download the ebook from our website. Or from Google Play via this link. I'm Douglas Alford from the Indie Ed Project Nonprofit Charitable Organization. With enthusiasm, energy, and excitement, welcome to this webinar. Don't worry if we go too fast. You have all the data in these free ebooks. Worldwide, third to sixth grade teachers see a problem. Students lack basic science. We at Indie Ed Project give away free content for teachers to fix this. Our free science has seven subjects. Over five million free copies have been downloaded by people in 60 countries. We are happy to share with you, too. Today's topic is Easy Science with Ideas, Flows, and Powers. Our webinar has four parts. One, Teacher guide, two ebooks, three videos, and four true stories to link them all together. You can download all the material at this web link. The benefits of this webinar are teachers get these free ebooks and videos, teach students about practical science starting with this webinar, give multimedia presentations for in-person and online classes and access to 150 free titles from Indie Ed Project. Click here on this link to go to our website with the free content. The objectives for this webinar are 1. Know 7 science ideas that open our minds from atoms to apples. Two. See seven flows of science in our daily lives. Three, link it all together with power science and seven steps to go from windows to wheels. One, let's start with this teacher's guide. I'd like to introduce you to something that's called a one pager and it basically gives you an overview of what this part of the presentation is all about. For the science of seven ideas, we go from one atoms, two EM, three light, four life, five energy, six R waves, and seven gravity. In the ebook that you have, there are lessons plans that you can refer back to that help you prepare and present and follow up the presentation. Easy science with seven ideas. Here's a lesson overview. 1. Everything on Earth is made of atoms. 2. Electricity and magnetism are related. 3. Light can bend, bounce, and beam. 4. Life changes. 5. Energy changes form. 6. Radio waves are useful. 7. Gravity attracts. First we learn about these parts, then we put them all together. B. Teachers will watch this video with their students of Easy Science with seven eye-opening ideas. Here's the link. C. Teachers prepare for in-person or online classes. First, let's, as an introduction, let's look long ago when people lived in caves. Over time, people learn science. Today, we live in homes full of comforts, electronics, and machines. Science helps us understand our modern lives. Science is important to each of us. Here is the first idea. Everything on Earth is made of atoms. Atoms have positive bits in the center called protons. Atoms have negative bits a circle above called electrons. Everything around us is made of less than a hundred different atoms. 
It's the number of e protons and electrons that make the different elements, the different types of atoms. Atoms join together to make new chemicals called compounds. Water is a compound called H2O. Two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom make one water molecule. That is, groups of atoms that join together are called molecules. Here's a hands-on experiment. Do edible atoms. Put gun drops on toothpicks to show how atoms join to make molecules. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane are all examples. Atoms and compounds can mix together. We see this when we bake cookies and eat them too. Our dinners are mixes. Cars and airplanes are mixes too. The second idea has two parts, E and M. Batteries make electricity. Many things are battery powered. Another hands-on experiment. Do lemon batteries. Put a copper nail and a zinc nail in a lemon. Connect with banana clips to a light bulb, an LED is best. One metal pulls negative charges from electrons. The electrons flow through the lemon acid. Electricity flows through the wires, lights up the bulb, and then flows to the positive side of the battery. We can see electricity flow. Outlet or AC electricity powers our homes. Look at these different objects around us that are powered by electricity. Home electricity called AC or alternative current. Outlet electricity is made by turning wire coils near magnets. Wow! Electricity all around the world is made by simply turning wires near magnets. That's amazing! Smartphones use outlet electricity to power batteries inside. Magnets have two sides called poles, north and south. Different poles pull together. Same poles push apart. The space around a magnet is called a field. Let's do a hands-on experiment. Oil, pour in a bit of iron filings, little bits of iron. Bring it near a magnet, in this case it's a cow magnet, and you can see the magnetic field in the filings. Electricity and magnets are related. To recap, electricity is made by moving wires near magnets. The reverse is true too. Flowing electricity makes electromagnets that power motors. Hands-on experiment. Do e-magnets. Take a nail, wrap a wire around it in a coil. Get some paper clips made out of metal. Hook up to a battery. Always teachers be careful the battery can get hot you want to just touch it for short periods of time recommend you use a black electrician's tape as well but when electricity flows in the wire it makes a magnet that attracts the paper clips here's a hands-on activity that you give your students you give them a blank sheet of this with the question what are examples of electric motors let them find or draw examples Three, light beams and bounces. Sunbeams are light. Light bounces off mirrors. What makes light? These are examples. What do we do with light? We take selfies with light. We use glowing screens too. Four, life changes. We see this when seeds grow into plants. Here are two more examples. Tadpoles become frogs. Larvas become butterflies. Human babies grow into adult humans too. Five, energy changes form. Chemical gas burns to make cars go. It's the fuel the gas that burns to make the engines move. 
Energy pushes trains, cars, and airplanes too. There's energy in life. Plants change sunshine into chemical energy of food and fuel. 6. Smartphones use radio waves to make calls and get data. Try this. Teachers give the blank form to their students with the question, what everyday objects use radio waves? And they can color, cut and paste or color examples, a radio that we use in the car, a remote control car, smartphones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all use radio waves. 7. Big objects attract smaller ones. The Earth attracts things like balls, apples and us because of gravity. The Earth attracts the Moon. The Sun attracts the Earth and the entire solar system with gravity. It's important for you as a teacher to understand the seven ideas and the questions the students may ask. To recap, recommend that you watch this video of Easy Science with Seven Ideas. It's the true story of science from atoms alone to galaxy glue. You can also get the free ebook either on the website or by this link. Now changing topics. We go to number two, Easy Science with Seven Flows. This is the one pager. We're going to be talking about the flows of one, air, two, water, three, food, four, energy, five, heat, six, data, and seven, life. As you prepare, please watch this video where you will learn and be able to teach how science is important to our lives. Air flows in circles that make our seasons. Water flows from high mountains to low seas and back again. Food flows from the eaten to the eaters. 4. Energy flows from fuel to our planes, cars, and rockets. Heat flows from hot to cold. Data flows to power our digital devices and cyber silicon age. 7. With DNA, lifeless atoms assemble into live cells. Amazing. Now for the last topic, which is responsible for bringing everything together. And we use the true story of the power of science from windows to wheels. With these links, we see how science integrates into our everyday lives. Here's the one page summary. We're going to be talking about pipe windows, brewer pots, peat coal, pumps, iron products, steam power, and wheels propel. Power science links to our lives, from glass windows to iron train wheels. Here's the link to the video that you'll want to watch, called Power Windows to Wheels. Let's look at the seven steps. 1. Blow windows. Glass windows are once made by people who with blowpipes and lots of heat to melt the glass. In the past, glass workers drink beer to keep cool. The glass is hot. Brewers make beer in steaming hot copper boilers. The data point about number three Millions of years ago, there were lots and lots of plants. As the plants died and piled up on top of each other, they turned into what's called peat. Over time, peat gets buried and pushed and pushed, more heat and more pressure, and it turns into coal. Fast forward to not too long ago, a couple hundred hundreds of years ago, people learned to mine the coal and burn it to get heat. In our example, they used the heat to make the beer, to boil the beer in copper boilers. 4. Steam pumps. Steam pumps use these boilers to push water out of flooded mines. So they went from brewer boilers to steam pumps that were expensive, that were coal powered, that would heat steam, make steam that would then be able to be used to drive water out of these deep mines. 
Later, these guys make steam engines out of iron, which power factories. This is when people started to go from being all living on farms to living in cities and working in factories. We're still seeing a lot of that today. At that time, the steam engines then powered the factory, so steam power was a major form of power for the factories. But someone got the idea to take these steam engines, and in the past, steam boilers on wheels pushed trains around the world. That's what powered the first trains. We've gone in seven steps, from glass windows to iron wheels. Teachers can also watch this bonus video with their students. Here's the link. It's called Train Science. Now you are ready to present your class. We appreciate feedback on how we can improve our products. Here's our website. Try our other webinars too. There's seven of them and we're just starting. Here are more ebooks and videos from the India Project. It's called the PsyQ Program. This webinar was about easy science, ideas, flows, and powers for third to sixth grade teachers. You're given turnkey materials that you can use in your presentations. Science ideas open our eyes from atoms alone to galaxy glue. Science flows all around us. It is in our air, water, and food. Science flows from separate atoms into life systems like us. Science is in the applied energies of the powers that move our machines and digital devices. Our world is complicated, but the basic science is so easy to understand. Thank you.